Hi everyone and happy holidays. Here is the December update. The last time we made a video, my sister and husband and niece and nephew, we were all at the Mall of America and we were riding roller coasters and it was my birthday and my sister had just given her blood sample to find out um, how compatible we are. So we did that and my little sister Bree and I have three of six blood markers matching and we don't have any conflicting antibodies. So that's really good. The hospital has informed us that we can move forward with the progress of the transplant. So next month in January, the end of January, Bree is going to fly back out here and stay for a week and do her full medical evaluation, which means doing every medical test under the sun. And the purpose of it is to find out if she's healthy enough to donate. So they'll check her heart, they'll check check her digestion, that sounds fun. They'll check her blood pressure, um, you know, regular tests, and then they'll ch check her thyroid and other things. Um, and also make sure that this is something that she really wants to do. It's a big decision. It's very risky. And she's my sister. And as much as I would love to no longer be puffy and not be sick all the time. I really love my sister and I want her to be with me through the thick and thin of life. So it's a big decision and I keep telling her that she can back out anytime she wants to. I feel pretty grateful this holiday season and really grateful that I've gotten these extra almost nine years extra um, with this kidney that my other sister Ollie gave me. So huge hug and squeezes for that. Just want to send that love out to all of you and just let you feel it. The love of being alive and everything that surrounds you this holiday season. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about how I'm doing and what am, what am I doing and so I wanted to update you about that as well and unfortunately I don't have a lot to report because I haven't been doing squat. I've been crocheting my brains out. <laughs> That's what's been keeping me busy and luckily and I watch a ton of movies. <laughs> I would like to read more, but my eyes are doing some funny things, and I feel like an elephant. My, If you could see my legs right now, they are probably three times larger than they normally are. Freezing. I'm freezing all the time. <laughs> Tonight we went to a carol. Uh, we went and sang Christmas carols together at church, and... I, I was so cold, and I was wearing two coats. I'm wearing, like, three shirts right now. I was wearing two pairs of pants, wool socks, a hat, gloves, and scarf in the church. And Ben took his coat off and put it on my lap. So that's probably been the hardest to deal with is the cold. Um, it makes it difficult to go and go out and do fun things. In Wisconsin, where it's freezing. <laughs> um, also, my stomach hasn't been feeling very good. Um, I just, my digestion is not very good, and my diet's pretty bad right now. Everything tastes funny. Um, meat tastes like very irony. Um, it just doesn't, n no meat really tastes good. It kind of tastes rancid. And that's just everything in my body just kind of trying to shut down and preserve my organs, all the vital parts of my body, 
um, the best that it can. Um, so it's not fun right now, to be really honest, and I know that that's not very fun to hear, but it's honest. I just want to tell you the truth that I haven't been on Facebook a lot and haven't really been doing a whole lot um, with the groups that I enjoy. I, I, I love coaching. I love Toastmasters and <laughs> all my things, but it's just it's just been a challenge. So there you go. Do with what you want with that information. Um, I am still very hopeful, though. I know this is temporary, so my mind is in a good place. Every time I have something weird and squirrely come up in my mind or I get down on myself because I get exhausted vacuuming <laughs> or something like that, I just remind myself that it's not me and that it's what my body's going through right now and just to be really patient with myself and the medication that I'm on and kind of does weird things to my mind and stuff like that too. So taking everything in stride and I'm hopeful about the future. I have been dreaming of beaches in Mexico, <laughs> tropical vacations. So that's um, giving me some some hope, some aspiration. I've been thinking about all of you too. Uh, I've been thinking about all of the people that I love so much, our great friends on the East and the West Coast. We've lost some dear friends and family this season, uh, and it's it's been heart-wrenching. And it's hard not to think about my mortality this holiday season, but I just keep thinking about what some really good friends have told me, and that is to just send the love, just blast the love out there. Just do what I can to share the love that I feel, the gratitude that I feel right now in my life. So I hope you can feel it. Just sending you tons of love right from my heart to say thank you for being you. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for all the messages that you send, the love that you send out into the world to me, to my family, to our friends, to Ben, to Ben's family. I am so grateful to you. Thank you so much for what you do because it does make a difference. I know that in the world today it doesn't always feel like it, but it does. So, I love you so much. Happy Holidays.